So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm gonna be showing you two different methods and how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore, you're gonna click on SEMA recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you're gonna click on system restore. And now this will come up. If you have any restore points enabled in your computer, then you're gonna click on next and then go back to your restore point. If you don't have any, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. For the second method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And now once you're on this, you're gonna type in boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. Now we're gonna type in boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If you get access is denied, just ignore it. Now we're gonna type in boot rec space forward slash scan OS. Click on enter again. Now we're gonna type in boot rec space forward slash rebuild BCD. Click on enter again. And now for the last one, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be completed. And now once that's been done, you're gonna close out of this. Now we're gonna click on continue. It will now take you back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.